at some pro examples in two dimensions, maximum and minimum values. The next thing we're doing here is moving this to three dimensions and eventually to kind of any higher dimension. But three is nice because we're able to visualize it. And we're, for the most part, probably familiar with the three-dimensional world. Um, I'm going to, for example, label some 3D space like this, where we have x, y, and z axes. And here's a function in three dimensions. And what that means is that it takes in both an x and y coordinate and spits back a value in a third dimension. So for example here, if we were to look at um, this function, 9 minus 2x plus 4y minus x squared minus 4y squared, at the point 1, 1, that means that we're going visually in space. We would go over one unit in the x direction, one unit in the y direction, and up some amount in the z direction. And however many that is, is determined by what the output of the function is. So we would have 9 minus 2 plus 4 minus 1 minus 4. So 7, uh, 11, 10, 6. So we have a point in space, 1, 1, 6. And to plot this, we're going to plug in a whole bunch of this whole kind of grid of x and y's. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to kind of define this big grid of points and plug it into the function. And we'll see kind of the results in the y, or in the z direction. Sorry. All right, so that's what this is. That's what we're going to cover here. Um, so first things first is just defining the function. This is familiar, like we've defined our other functions, except for that now we have two inputs. And we'll return 9 minus 2 times x plus 4 times y minus x squared minus 4y squared. Okay, and if we wanted to plug 1, 1 in, Again, we get back 6. Okay, but this takes in two numbers. So if I want to plot it, um, there's, sorry for scrolling, but there is this other, I'm going to show this here. This is kind of a new import, but this just turns on the 3D plotting in Matplotlib and allows us to then plot to uh, 3D axes. So there's two kind of extra wrinkles. One is that we have to determine that grid of points, the x and y kind of grid of points. We'll do that using NumPy, and then we define a 3D axis using this mplot3d. But really, it's just going to be using an axis object and specifying that the projection is 3D. So first, we can do this fig ax equals plt dot subplots, and I'll say projection. 3D. Screw that up. Have to do it maybe separately. Okay. So that's the idea, and that's how we. And then what we do is we'll plot directly to this axis object. Okay, so we'll always start this and then we'll say ax.plot. But um, I can't just say x, y and f of x, y where I define x and y as just some arbitrary arrays. Like maybe I want to look at this from, um, I don't know, negative 5 to 5. And we'll do the same thing for y. Okay, it doesn't, it just plots me a single line because it's just lining up these points one um, with one. So this first negative five with this negative five. But actually, I want to plug in all of these values on the axis with, with x equals negative five. I want everything on y to also run from negative five to five. So the way that we do that is we take this one extra step. And I'm going to differentiate these by capitalizing them. But we use this mesh grid that creates a grid of points out of x and y. And then if we plug those in um, 
and we can use well, this will be a bit of a mess but so we're going to plot a 3d surface so there we go and now we get this kind of you know 3d object in space but again, there's two kind of steps. First is that we have to create this grid of points to plug into the function, and then we create the axis and we plot to it. Okay, and there's a couple of other things that we could do in a plot. We can, um, instead of plotting a surface, there's also this plot wireframe. And that's kind of this grid of points. You can control how much there are with this R count and C count. So if I use R count equals five and C count equals five, it will have a little bit bigger kind of break between those. You see this, maybe you see the shape of the curve a little bit better. And you can do things like change the, um, you know, we can experiment with that a little bit more. We can also, maybe combine these two where we plot the surface and uh, together. So maybe I'll make this gray and I'll make this red. And we'll just bump this up a little bit in one direction. So you know we can and we can experiment with that a little bit more and play around but there's it's um, perhaps a nice way to represent some things namely things that live in three-dimensional space so let me just turn this down a little bit okay you know, and so on and there's one other thing that we can do is change the um, initial view so like if i say an elevation of 100 and a zim of 20 it'll just change the perspective of what we are looking at at first so now we're looking at it kind of from the bottom um, change that a little bit over here change this to 10. you know you see it just turned this original perspective a little bit this way, 10 degrees this way, and flattened it a little bit in the Z direction. Okay, but that's the basics of plotting in 3D. Let's do it with one more uh, function here that involves cosines. So again, we're just going to define this. And here, because I'm going to plot it, I, I'm going to use NumPy. And we can, because we have x and y defined above um, from negative 5 to 5, and we created the mesh grid, we can just go ahead and, and create the plot. So again, you create a figure. Then I create this axis and say that I want to uh, project into 3D and then I can um, plot uh, different kinds of things like the, let's do the surface here and we'll do x, y and f of x, y. See how that looks. Okay, pretty neat. Um, let's put a wireframe on top of it. gray all right and there we go okay and if we want to add labels we can do so just x set y label Z label. And you can see that we can have that. And of course, we have, and we still have uh, things like titles. Uh, 
less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 5. Okay. So the main difference is now what you're plotting to is this axis object. Like everything emanates from that. But it's like ax.plot, the set labels, you're going to set them on that. Okay. So here's our 3D plotting. 